Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 22 online CFM game. We are now in week 7 of the 2022 season here in the Premier Madden League. Our Houston Texans are not interested in any of these washed up veterans that our assistant GM is trying to get us to sign. Last season we actually needed this cutscene to sign Golden Tate, we were down pretty bad. We're not doing too great, but we're doing better than we did last season roster-wise. And we're in much better shape because the injury bug that plagued our Houston Texans seems to finally be resolving itself. We're going to get back three starters this week. Our safety, Monte Nicholson, and two guys on the offensive line. The rookie, Kevin Kenyon Green, and Jason Peters, the veteran, as we get ready for this matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs. At this point, the only big name that we are still down is our starting guard, Titus Howard. And yes, the Phillip, the uh, Chiefs have Philip Lindsay on their team as their starting running back. Of course, we had Philip Lindsay last season and traded him around this time to the Chicago Bears in the big Roquan Smith trade. Chicago ended up not re-signing Philip Lindsay and letting him just walk in free agency. And in free agency, the Kansas City Chiefs said, Philip Lindsay, you're our guy, and signed him to a deal. Even though they had Raheem Moster on their team, and because they made these big free agent acquisitions, they got really strapped on calorie space and ended up cutting Raheem Moster last week, who our Texans signed. So, a weird little game of musical chairs and running backs has worked out pretty well for our Houston Texans as we are underway with Week 7 action against the 5-1 Kansas City Chiefs. For those keeping track at home, we got a second round pick for dealing Phillip Lindsay and did not give up anything to sign Raheem Mostert. That is a win, win, win. And why not? One more win for our Houston Texans roster-wise building as the Chiefs call a timeout, I think, to set their defensive audibles. I don't know what else he could have been doing. Even though it's 10-minute quarters, he uh, did one of those things that, like, the pros do or whatever, like the people on online in mud. Oh, third down. That's going to be picked off. It's Boodle on the interception. A brutal play by the rookie. Oh, there's a rookie saving a touchdown. Chris Olave after Sam Howell nearly threw one himself to the wrong team as Mahomes hit as he throws the ball. Second down, Mahomes going to break the pocket, but Drake Jackson able to contain and force Mahomes to eventually throw that ball away. Third down, Mahomes got him wide open. Travis Kelsey unearthed for the touchdown in a bit too easy of a play for Kansas City and what has to only be assumed as a coverage breakdown for our Houston Texans. We had a nice little goal line stand going until we decided, oh, Travis Kelsey, he doesn't really matter. <laughs> He's probably the primary read. <laughs> and, of course, the interception. Um, as you guys may expect, I mixed up square and circle and just threw that pass in the middle of the field and was like, oh, that's not supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen, but we got a reception out of bunting. We got a little bunt for a single there from our now second string tight end because CJ Uzama is still injured. Third down, we'll hit up the alligator and I believe he got the first down. Tyler Algier, or however you pronounce his last name, has kind of been kicked out of the rotation the past couple of weeks with the addition of Raheem Mostert. So we're going to try to get him some PT by putting him at a fullback position and see if we can produce some opportunities for him as Mostert. He's a great running back. Very fast, not exactly DeAndre Hopkins with the hand, so he won't be able to catch that. Most are Powell in a ton of trouble there. Eventually swung down to the ground. Offensive line doing their usual, I suppose. We'll have some time here on third down. Chris Jones putting the heat on in the corner. That was Nico Collins who did not make the catch. Nico Collins not making that reception is actually pretty costly for us because that throw to Collins would have put us in range to kick a long field goal with Kaimi Fairbairn. Instead, it's an incompletion, and we have to punt, and it wasn't really that good of a punt. So the Chiefs will get the touchback, get the ball back here, and Lindsey doing some damage on the spin move, getting the gain at 13. Back to Lindsey, but Haskell Garrett, who continues to shine as one of the real gems of the 2022 NFL Draft on our Houston Texans on our defensive line. Mahomes launching downfield. Hospital pass for Tyree Kill. For the Chiefs, they got to be thankful that was incomplete because, boy, was that cover. Justin Reed, one of the men in the area. Second down, Mahomes underneath, going to Lindsey. Trying to spin away, but Tremont Smith not going to fall for that one. Third down, and the Chiefs are going to keep it on the ground here. Tevin Coleman checking in, and Coleman meeting Roquan Smith at the first down line, and they'll give Coleman first down yardage as Mahomes rearing back. Whoa, Roquan making a play there as he tried to connect with Lindsey in. 
Roquan standing out so far. Oh, Hill diving, and they'll give him the catch out of bounds. And our Houston Texans will not challenge the play, so it'll stay a first down and into the red zone. Go to Kansas City Chiefs. This has been quite the drive that started at the Chiefs' own 20-yard line. Mahomes, though, in trouble, and they'll be facing a third down to try to keep it going to try to score a touchdown instead of settling for the field goal. Mahomes dropping back and fits it in there to McCool Harmon, who gets the first down. Roquan sniffed it out there but could not make the play to dislodge the ball from the receiver on first and goal. Lindsay unnecessary spin move, takes the shot from Roquan and scores the touchdown. Oh man, we were almost there. In fact, I made the beat anticipating there might be a screen pass and I guess I misplayed it just a little bit I got picked up by Tyreek Hill on the block. But yeah, I was like, oh, we were so close. I knew I knew what the play was and we get up a touchdown anyways. Sucks when that happens. As, oh, how it is he throws. It's a putt fly and it's going to be picked off by Juan Thornhill. Chris Jones got the hit on that ultimately forced the turnover as we regain off alignment but still struggle to block for the former UNC Tar Hill Sam Howell Mahomes the Tyree kill that'll always be a lethal connection tough to stop as Mahomes dropping back once again he wants Sutton and he's got him for the touchdown Cortland Sutton in an airtight window able to make the reception and go in for the TD Kyler Gordon oh so close to making a play for our Texans defense but a close but no cigar start to this game has us down 21-0 because it seems like all these 50-50 plays on top of everything going bad for us like this rush attempt a keyword attempt <laughs> uh yeah has not really worked out and we are down 21 points very early in this one in what is looking like a similar start to what happened against the chargers where we kind of just got blitzed in this uh, opening sequence and uh, we're not really getting any help from our wide receivers right now. Just trying to get it out as quick as we can, given the uh, pocket collapsing consistently on us. And, yeah, just hit up Brevin Jordan. Couldn't even make the catch. What Probably wasn't even going to be a first down. Probably would have to go for it on fourth down. We don't even know. Can we have to punt the ball after another drop on third down as Mahomes way back and dropping too far back. Might have actually cost him to miss the open receiver to running back Lindsey on third down. Mahomes play action. A little PA boot for your trouble. And Tyreek Hill will definitely speed away from Roquan Smith as we try to dial up the blitz. Did not get in in time as Lindsey having a pretty solid day running the ball so far. This is a free play for the Chiefs. Chiefs. Oh, Hill makes the catch. Oh, my. Smith and Gordon both had him. And even though it was a free play, Tyreek decides, I'll make the catch anyways and make the penalty not even matter as Mahomes way back in the corner finds Sutton and they will give him first down yardage. Mahomes once again dropping way back. Oh, Patrick Peterson drops the interception. Great coverage on McCall Hardman as Mahomes swatted by Roquan and could have easily been picked off. Two great chances at an INT. Drive is still going for Kansas City. Mahomes on course one to Zach Gentry and that'll set up the offense at a goal to go. Gentry making the tough catch as Mahomes handing off to Lynn who dove a little bit too early won't get the touchdown maybe he got half a yard fill up this time ridden in Haskell Garrett had him but couldn't quite pull him back far enough Lindsay riding the forward momentum in for six and after a couple of close plays I mean it, it's as close but no cigar thing where it's like oh yeah um these 50 50 plays maybe if they go our way that would be nice but I don't think one of them has gone our way. Maybe besides that one tip ball that went to bunting, I don't, I don't know what that was, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll count that as our good luck play of the game, and the rest of it uh, puts us down 28-0 in the second quarter as Sam Howell with a nice dime to Brevin Jordan, and Sam Howell with an uneasy 5 for 11 start in this one, but big reason why is because the uneasy uneasiness we're putting our rookie quarterback under with this shoddy blocking as Raheem Mostert going to get a solid run on second down. Mostert pretty quiet in this one so far. Hasn't really got many opportunities. Third down. Sam Howell in the corner again and Brevin Jordan. Did he drag the toes? He did. First down and two good plays by Brevin Jordan. The second year tight end on this drive. Chiefs actually challenged a play there to try to get a stop and they will not get that challenge so they lose their final 
final timeout of the half as we hit up the screen pass to Christian Kirk on first down. Back to Moster. See what he could do. And some solid run blocking there. Look at Kenyon Green paving the way to rookie right guard. Third down. We'll bounce it outside with Moster. Okay, blocking was good for one play. Asking for two good block plays, too much. Fourth down, going to go for it here. Down 28-0. Not going to put the field goal unit out on the field. Sam Howell, quick pitch and catch. Finding Christian Kirk for the first down. Howell going to go outside to Josh Gordon. Open in the flats. The flashback gets us to the 10-yard line. Great drive for us as we are under two minutes to go in the first half. Can we cap it off with a touchdown? Taysom Hill in the game. Taysom Hill. He's got it. Taysom Hill subbed in, runs the ball, and a little gadget play by our Houston Texans puts us on the board. How exciting to cut the gap to 21 points. We've made some crazy comebacks. We're going to have to do a lot to cut this deficit against the Kansas City Chiefs because, you know, we're down 21, and we got to worry about stopping the Chiefs, which... Easier said than done. They actually called that an incompletion on Tyreek Hill. It looked like he got the catch. And under two minutes to go, that's going to be an automatic boot review, which helps out Kansas City because they are out of timeouts. And it's going to be overturned, as it should be. A catch by Tyreek Hill. A first down for the Chiefs as Mahomes. Oh, man, missed it. He had an open man, but he held it for just a little bit too long. A second down. They will fake the sweep to Tyreek. Mahomes getting away from the pressure. Zach Cunningham falling behind. And Mahomes is going to turn to into a positive play on a play that looked like our Texans had contained. Third down, Mahomes in the corner. Cortland Sutton on the reception. He'll stop the clock. Big for the Chiefs who have no timeouts. Mahomes can't take the sack there. He won't. He'll just run away. Use that escape artist for the incompletion. Second down, Mahomes looking for another shot play. And it's the same result as the last play. Contained by our Texans defense. A throwaway by Mahomes. Third down now, Mahomes. Watch out! Down he goes! That's Raekwon McMillan in the game getting the sack. And McMillan, who is now back as a reserve because of the uh, return of Zach Cunningham, still making plays for this Texans defense when we sub him in, which is interesting. Maybe we have to find more snaps for uh, Raekwon McMillan if he's going to make plays like that for us. As, uh, that's going to be a penalty on our Texans. Yes, it is. Intentional grounding on Sam Howell. Tried to get that ball away, but we don't got Patrick Mahomes. We got Sam Howell, so I can't run 20 yards behind the line of scrimmage and throw it away. It's the end of the first half, so no need to take a chance here. Though we are going to call a timeout. We are down 21 points. Might as well get one more play off before the end of the first quarter, and we're going to leave it up to Chris Olave to make a miracle happen. Not even going to make the first man miss. The Honey Badger makes the tackle and that'll do it for the first half. Let's go to the Halftime Show. Welcome to the Halftime Show, where today's game of the week is against the sticky Cam Akers of the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers, who are about to make a big splash at the end of the first half. What a mistake by Stafford, and Witherspoon is spoon-fed the lead for the San Francisco 49ers. This officially puts the Rams on upset alert, but the 49ers will just be flat-out upset by Jalen Ramsey dancing on their franchise quarterback don't worry the Rams scored the touchdown and oh my don't worry about San Francisco they were fine afterwards Odell Beckham Jr. Niners have the lead but the Rams drive the length of the field and score with just 22 seconds left we are overtime bound unless Trey Lance uncorks the deep ball Brandon IU down at the 24 and here we go for the lead after the Niners called the field goal it is straight through so Stafford will have one last chance it's a Hail Mary on the final play of the game showing off that arm strength but all for naught as the San Francisco 49ers make some noise in the NFC West by taking down the reigning division champions meanwhile in another divisional battle Jonathan Abrams he lays the smackdown and the Las Vegas Raiders only one win on the season they're looking to double that total up and they're looking for Darnell Moss to spark the action that he will on the kick return Moss does it again but Tom Terrific was too much to handle last seconds of the game Brady to Judy that's the sixth touchdown that Brady had in the air that puts the Broncos in the W column meanwhile Damian Harris and the New England Patriots on the move finding their groove and trying to make a comeback here after the Cleveland Browns jumped out to an early lead 
things didn't get any easier as Jock dislodges the football from Damian Harris and oh no, it's a Mac attack on Mac Jones! Denzel Ward puts him in the spin cycle and the Patriots are officially in trouble. Oh, but they redeemed themselves big time. This is a heartbreaker. They go to Gilly Island with the rookie quarterback and Stephon Gilmore helps the Patriots make the fourth quarter comeback. One more divisional action. How about the NFC South where Alvin whoop, Kamara puts chin on skates and the New Orleans Saints looking for their third win of the year. They won't get it because Justin Shorter and the Carolina Panthers too strong to handle. Instead, Carolina gets their second win of the season. We move on to Chicago versus Green Bay. If you guys may remember, the Chicago Bears handed the Green Bay Packers their only loss in the regular season last season. This season now Green Bay already has a loss and they might make it too. Down 20-0 to the Bears who seem to have their number. Devontae Adams had a spectacular day but the defense of the Bears are the Packers not so much. That's James Washington who had a big day in the end zone and the Bears are victorious. Oh Chris Carson was an absolute bulldozer today. Over 200 yards on the ground and the Seahawks punched the Falcons in the mouth. Josh Allen, watch him move, watch him groove, watch him launch one downfield to Stephon Diggs, Bills blow out the Jets. The Eagles still winning football games and suddenly creating some separation at the top of the standings in the NFC Conference. Big win over the New York Giants. And finally, the Detroit Lions dominated the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings will stay to one win. And the Lions, meanwhile, trying to make some sort of playoff push. And we are back with second half action of Chiefs versus Texans. For the second week in a row exiting the halftime locker room, our Texans find ourselves down over 20 points to an AFC West opponent as we crack that man on the kick return. The Chiefs will get the ball to start the second half. Their offense has been pretty efficient so far as Mahomes wants his favorite target, Tyreek Hill. He'll get him as Tyreek easily beats Patrick Peterson to the left boundary as Mahomes dropping way back one second again just gets it off that is Hill oh what a throw by Mahomes but Tyree couldn't complete the play by getting it in bounds they somehow got it over the top but you know it was one of those Chiefs plays except for the fact that Tyree forgot about getting two feet in as we go to a third down Mahomes well protected going to the comeback oh but he might be helping our Texans start a comeback bid as Roquan Smith gets the interception maybe not as we fumble the ball right away no one blocks the outside man and that'll be a loss of 10 but we maintain possession on second down finding Christian Kirk who's able to spin inside get some extra yardage make it a third down and manageable as we're under th or three minutes into this third quarter. Oh, Chris Olave drops the ball on third down. And once again, a drop on third down results in a punt for our Houston Texans. And the rookie Olave, who has had a little bit of an issue with drops. You guys remember that big drop he had against Washington in week four on what looked like would be a touchdown play. Something to keep in mind as the product out of Ohio State continues to adjust to the NFL. The, uh, the adjustment period period is taking a little bit longer than it should. So a team that struggles offensively dropping passes on third down is just not a recipe for success and puts our defense on the field yet again as we get a big hit on Miko Harmon. It's going to be a penalty on the Chiefs, so they actually will not get a first down on the play. That was an easy walk in first down. Now it's third down and 13 on the field. Got to earn it. Mahomes, clean pocket, wide open in the corner. Miko Harmon put a little flat route, put a little corner route. It's like you're playing uh, a little uh, comp competitive mutt game, right? Why not try that recipe again? Works out. Travis Kelsey on the reception as they run it on first down with Lindsey. Lindsey goes backward. Lindsey will try again on second down. Clyde Edwards Alaire doubling as a fullback in this one and doing a great job blocking as third down Mahomes looking to pass blitz oh man forced a quick throw and Mahomes going to the backup tight end Gentry out of all the players that you could go to on the Chiefs and that works out for us because Roquan Smith with some amazing coverage is able to make the tackle and force the Chiefs to settle 
four to field goal. So, you know, in plays like that, you know, I think we've said all season. That counts as a win for our defense, I suppose. As we'll get an easy catch to Josh Gordon, nearly getting the first down. And similar to last week, we just want to, you know, figure out what works for our offense in a situation like this. And going downfield to Chris Olave apparently is not it as Legereus Sneed with great field-to-field -field coverage. He'll get the interception. It looked like Olave might have had half a step. Maybe not as Mahomes just gets it off to Lindsey spinning away from Roquan. And Philip Lindsey going to make a quick check down on a play where Mahomes panicked just threw it into a solid play. Now it's third down and 11. And Kelsey is going to go back and make the reception there. Roquan had some great coverage on that one. But Kelsey with the better play as the Chiefs still looking to take shot plays, even though they're up by 24 points here in the third quarter there. Uh, really trying to pour it on at this point, I suppose. Not really doing a great job of running the clock with this lead right now. They're dropping back the pass here on second down and 20. And Mahomes is picked off for the second time in this third quarter. This time by Tremont. Smith. This will give our Texans great field position. Play action on first down. Howell just got it off. Pressure from Jones and Chris Olave makes the catch in bounds as we try to run the pitch there, but no one blocked the Honey Badger. Definitely a guy you want to account for as Howell. Oh! Nearly got picked off as that pass got away from him. Yet again, it's Chris Jones with the interior pressure. Third down. Gotta get it off. Howell does. Nowhere close to a first down, but Christian Kirk will at least get the reception and open the window for us to go for it on fourth down. Might as well, down by 24 points in the fourth quarter. Oh no, Sam Howell never stood a chance. It looked like he tried to get that pass off, but the quick penetration by Chris Jones yet again ends the drive and a turnover on downs. And man, Chris Jones does not have a lot of sacks to his name, but boy, has he been a game wrecker for us. It seems like we just cannot block the interior lineman right now. And uh, Chris Jones won the best interior lineman in the league that's a recipe for disaster for our Houston Texans but the good news is the defense is actually playing really well in this second half we get another stop on this Chiefs offense that still cannot really figure out how to run the clock down properly as Howell breaking the pocket on first down hey we actually got a play block and we didn't have anything open second down we'll just go with a jet sweep here Christian Kirk trying to spin it inside and uh, he probably got the maximum yardage out of that one even though it was only a gain of two third down Howell Howell wants Olave, and he'll find Tyron Matthew instead. Try to hit up Olave on the comeback route, and Olave did not exactly follow through the route right there. And it's going to be intercepted by Tyron Matthew as we have now Calais Campbell injured in the game. Not exactly what we're looking for in a 24-point game with seven minutes to go. And would you look at that right after Campbell leaves, or Campbell. I keep saying his name wrong for like the rest of eternity, I suppose. Yeah, we give up a gaping run as soon as our best run stuffer goes out of the game. Dislocated shoulder. I'm not sure how long that's going to keep him out for as the Chiefs continue to pass the ball. I, I don't know what this guy's doing, to be honest, man. Like, he's running like this crazy, you know, cheese offense. Like, bro, you are up. Just run the ball. What are you doing, man? Instead, you know, it's kind of prolonging the game and putting him in a bad spot, if anything, because it gave us some chances to get back into the game. Ultimately, we just didn't really want it that bad, apparently. And, uh, yeah, third down was really our Achilles heel on the offensive side of the ball because I don't know how many times we had a play where you know, it looked like we could have converted or had a chance to convert, and our receivers just had a malfunction and this will be the biggest malfunction of the game because for some reason at this point I thought my opponent was lagging but apparently what was happening was Madden said you've been through enough we're gonna kick you out the EA servers which honestly I didn't even mind I was like well, whatever man I don't gotta play the last six minutes against this guy because this was probably one of the worst CFM games I've ever played as far as opponent with this guy like he, I think he just ran like cover three and just ran like shot plays and just like you know, all the meta plays the entire game, which was really fun to go against. But yeah, so the EA servers kicked us off. They didn't lose internet connection. You'll see right here, uh, I connected EA servers pretty much right away, which is really puzzling why we got kicked off for that one moment. But yeah, we're, we're back now. All is normal. And 
Now, what's going to happen with this game is we're just going to take a force loss because obviously we were going to lose that game. We were down by like 31 points with six minutes to go. So rather than replaying all that or recreating a situation, we'll just take the force loss, move on to next week, and hopefully our computer plays better in the force loss than we did because we were down by 31. Maybe the CPU will keep it close. I don't know. But I'll do it for this video. Uh, yeah, that's the way this one wraps up. Uh, leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it. I don't really know if I want to say GG to my opponent, but uh, yeah, subscribe for more Man 22 gameplays. I will catch you guys next time where we'll try to bounce back and not be down 20 at halftime against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hasn't been going smoothly lately, but it's all a part of the rebuild. That's a little bit tougher than expected. So yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you as always for watching.